Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. If you've been following me for a little while, you'll know that, well, I've gone to the dark side. I've managed to get my hands on a set of the DJI digital FPV goggles. I got the whole system, uh, minus the controller. Um, I've kind of come around on this. When I initially checked it out, it just did not have enough going for it. Yeah, the picture was amazing, but it was lacking a lot of features. The fit is awful. Shocker, the fit is still awful. But as the software is improving on it, these things are becoming more and more appealing, and I finally jumped in and got them. Now, the only thing I don't like is that you're just kind of locked out of analog without doing uh, doing this modification kit that's out there. This thing requires a lot of cutting and soldering and voiding of warranties and then your your rapid fire module or whatever you're using is kind of like it's kind of like locked into this thing it's not very easy to take out let's say you do have a set of like you know hdo2s or something and you've got you know you got your rapid fire and you don't want to buy another 150 fifty dollar module you want to be able to swap them back and forth real easily but you really it's really not that easy with this and you know these aren't the best for analog but you know they get the job done so what else is there that we can do? Well, just recently I saw this hit the market. This is not as elegant of a solution or streamlined as the other setup, but this is a external module bay that just kind of hangs off the side of your DJI goggles like that. And you can plug any module you want into it. And then you just patch power and video into your goggles. So I am going to give this a shot. I definitely wanted to do the, um, the faceplate mod kit, but uh, if this is, if this is good, I might just stick with this, but, uh, it's definitely not going to be as clean of an install as the other one, but let's give it a shot. All right, let's get cracking on this. All right. First things first, we're going to need some tools. We're going to need a, um, a double lot Phillips screwdriver or and a two millimeter hex driver. We're gonna need our kit. Our kit consists of one of the adapter boards, a little uh, 3D printed block, a AV patch cable. It's kind of a neat looking patch cable, a power patch cable, and these two Phillips screws. So first thing we're gonna do, is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna have to remove this mount from the right hand side of our goggle strap. So now that we got those off, you can either mount this on first or you can mount the board to this. I'm going to go ahead and mount the board to this 3D printed block. Just going to use these two Phillips head screws. Just going to get them started here. threading pretty good. The dimensions are pretty accurate. And then go ahead and put your goggle strap screws through here. And route your goggle strap back through the screws. This is kind of annoying. Let 
make sure this thing's sitting the right way. We want it to be the joggle kind of facing inward. Like so, and just get that one started. And there you go. That is installed. So now that our module adapter is installed on the side of the goggles, you can take your AV patch cable, go ahead and plug one end into your DJI goggles and the other end into your adapter board, like so, and your power cable into here. So in the end, it should look something like that. And then you're going to plug your goggle power into the top there, and it's kind of a pass-through setup. So let's get a module installed. All right, so I have my rapid fire module here. Just going to very carefully line the pins up and plug it in. It's uh, not super supportive. It's actually kind of sketchy, to be honest with you. Um, not sure if I really like the way this is set up, but that's that. And let's go ahead and power this guy up and see what happens. So there you go. Rapid fire fires up. DJI goggles are on. All right, so now that we have the goggles fired up, I'm going to go into your settings, find AV in, and select that. It'll change your AV input. And there you go. There is your analog video. That's it. Quick and easy. Give it a flight and see how it goes. Well, folks, there you go. It works perfect. Um, there might be a little bit of signal delay, but for the average Joe like me, eh, I'm never gonna notice a difference. Uh, the DVR records 480p, uh, 60 frames a second. Looks really good. Uh, this mounting is pretty craptastic. Um, I'm sure some sort of 3D printed something or other can be done to uh, kind of shore that up but uh, you know quick and easy you know you want to take this out of your out of here you just leave it like that um, yeah it's great I mean it's not nearly as elegant as the uh, as this guy here but um, you know that took me about two minutes to install whereas the other one's gonna take uh, a couple hours and probably yeah, it will will definitely void your warranty so anyways, there you go. I'll leave a link to this in the video description if you're interested in it. I highly recommend it. Even if you don't plan on ever flying analog, get one of these, get a cheap RX 5808 um, receiver module, and that way you can enjoy other people when they're flying their, their analog systems. You know, you're not left in the dark. I mean, clearly they're still left in the dark when you're flying, but hey, do you really care? I don't know. All right, guys, if you like what I'm doing, please like and subscribe. Um, if you really want to support me, head over to my Patreon page. Go ahead and sign up. I do monthly giveaways. I don't have a ton of Patreons, so chances are pretty good. You might get something. All right, folks, I will see you next time. Keep flying.